What's up, guys? It's your boy Pete, and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here on this channel, it consists of almost everything house plant related. Now, if that tickles your fancy, hit that subscribe button and sit back and enjoy the video. Now, on today's video, you guys, we are doing um, some repotting of some propagations that we did make um, a couple of months ago, maybe. Some a couple of months, some um, a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, I think they're about one, two, three, four. I have five in front of me today. A lot of these that are in my um, prop box have not hatched or they are just growing roots and haven't put out any um, leaves as of yet. And um, the other ones have a lot of water roots and yeah, it's time to get them inside of an actual pot. Now, what I'm going to do with these, you guys, um, all of these are going inside, well, except for one, except for three. Okay, I have three going into sphagnum moss, and then I also have three going into my um, garden soil mulch medium. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do those because I have to untangle the actual ones, the two that are in the in my um, <clears throat> prop box. So, um, what? Yeah, these are the mulch ones. No, right here. Use these here for mulch. So, um, the first plant, you guys, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen the last month or so. Um, and these are the babies of my Monstera. Now, one of them already you guys have seen in the project, um, which is the grow medium. You guys go and check that video out. Um, come on, there we go. So, um, yeah, go check that video out. The thing is, it definitely should be out by now. Yes, it's already out by now. Um, go over and check that out. Uh, what I did was, you guys, was I got a Monstera split leaf. And what I did was decided to actually um, take a lot of the babies off just because I wanted that one or two stalks on it. Um, I didn't want to over... I would say fill the pot just because of how they grow and um, it grows good enough to have at least one or two and not like 50 babies growing around. And I did get a lot of children out of her, but um, yeah, we're going to go ahead. And then I also have my Tritoscanthias in there to help with the rooting hormone that get leaks out in the water. Okay. Um, yeah, that was just this one and then that one. So again, and it's perfect now. That was just perfect. Let's bring you up some. Um, and I also have my backfill of um, medium as well. Now with these here, um, I haven't necessarily thought, thought it out as into where I will be placing these after um, they get their new homes. I'm thinking I want to put them outside. Um, I have a, a somewhat, um, I would say moisture box or humidity box, quote unquote grow box that I use for, um, during the summertime I use for like rehabilitations or things that need extra, hum extra humidity, um, stuff like that. Yeah, especially when I start to, um, when I start up my shop, my plant shops again, I usually use the outside for um, a much quicker rehab compared to inside. There's nothing really that can top mother nature. You know, you can try your best. You probably would succeed, but mother nature is mother nature. She doesn't need a battery. So um yeah we're done with this one here sweet and to the point so um yeah being outside with any of my plants 
um, for that matter, will um, definitely benefits them. I mean, a lot. So uh, more than likely, I'm going to stick them outside for a little while. Um, definitely to encourage root growth. Ruth, Ruth, ha! To encourage root growth. Um, then also some more foliage, so that um, I don't really have to worry about her if she decides to um, start growing. So basically, the babysitting. You know, um, I don't mind babysitting a plant when I actually want the plant or need the plant and with this one you know i have a much bigger one so yeah i I'm definitely not going to waste it but i don't want her to fall wayside and if she does she can withstand um um whatever neglect she gets which i can tell you my plants don't get in the neglect if anything you know i pay too much attention to them um so <clears throat> but case being said you know if anything happens and she goes wayside I'll feel more comfortable um, knowing that she's stable um, enough to take care of herself. So let's go to move on to the next one. Um, I have, am I putting, yeah, I'm putting these pepperomias. Now you guys should remember these pepperomias here. They came off or I cut them off. Can't remember one of the other two. When I got my pepperomias on sale uh, at Lowe's that sometime last month or the month before, probably the month before. Anyway, she's putting off a, I mean, there are a lot of pretty little, I wish you guys can like see that a lot better, but um, there's pretty roots in there. And of course, I'm going to get her out down in this here substrate. And I might actually, yeah, I want to definitely put her outside just because of, um, I know how big these leaves can get <laughs> on the watermelon peps. And of course, they just look naturally good, you know. So let's get these out of here. Um, so you guys, the roots there. And what we're going to do is get these little girls and try not to break, you know, any of these roots. Come on, there we go. All right, so <clears throat> I want to fasten these in here. So that it, when it starts to grow, I get like that full effect and they're not like um, scattered or has a lot of space, basically. Um, just, you know, basically so it looks like something, you know. Um, so, of course, I'm going to backfill this in, which again, this video should be very quick and simple, you guys. Um... I needed to most definitely get some of these out of the way. I have a lot of propagations that are kind of taking up space, but they're not, if you get what I'm saying. And then there's also that part of me just, you know, tired of just looking at them in water when I know that um, I don't want these to be water plants, water-based plants. So, um, yeah. I just go ahead and get them out the way and it helps me out with adding more stuff on that shelving in my bathroom. Makes that a lot easier um, on me in general. So that one was very quick and very easy. Now, again, I will definitely have to keep an eye on these two since they are water roots and they are in this this here type of substrate this is what we're doing and as you can see i stuck them directly in the middle together let's make sure this can't sit up anymore whoa okay there we go let's push this now it shouldn't take these guys long to actually start to grow they have plenty of roots we get plenty of light, uh, plenty of light. <laughs> then we get plenty of sunlight um, and humidity. So um, hit that notification bell, guys. Keep you notified. Um, stick her down here. Uh, most definitely, we'll have to hurry up. And once I finish this video and moisten down this here sphagnum moss. Oh, crap. This here um, 
um, mulch mix so that my water roots don't dry up, you know, especially so quick. Definitely don't need that. Okay. All right. So the next one we have here, um, you guys should know about this one here. Um, this here is what's left of my philodendron subastatum. What I did was um, she was starting to rot, actually, when I put her in spag, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it was just probably the initial shock. So what I ended up doing was um, that root looks like it's gone. Um, I ended up just sticking her in some water to see could I get some growth. And from what I'm seeing, it looks like there are white roots, pretty um, slow growing white roots, but there are also, like this one here, are some dead ones as well. So let me get that one off. Um, as I was saying, a lot of these here are white. And if I can pull on them and nothing happens, then they're fine. But otherwise, they probably had rotted off. In some way, form, or fashion, which is fine. Because you guys should know the mother plant, or uh, the cutting that I took, actually is doing a-a-okay. And just like this one here, she's still green. I haven't seen or noticed any grow points as of yet. Is this molding? Um, as of yet, let's make sure. Yeah, nothing as of yet. She's probably working on the root system. I don't know if you can see any of those little white tips at the end down there. Right. And then there's actual the stem, the stalk. Um, it's still green. So, um, yeah, she's going to go. Did I want to do? I'm thinking about doing spagging them with her um, since there are some water roots and nothing will, um, shouldn't go too wrong with it. But I also thought about doing this here mulch as well. And that includes the rest of these. And at least until they get to a certain point where I can take them back out of the spag, of the um, mulch mix and then put into spag. But then, you know, I'm like, well, let's just start them into spag so you don't have to do much but put them in something bigger yeah which i might do that yeah so i don't have to worry about um regrowing out any kind of roots so what i'm going to do with these here um up under here you guys should know that any container that you probably see <laughs> that i use as a tables table um <clears throat> It's full of sphagnum moss, okay? Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's pure smell of water that's been, yeah, water that has just been cooped up. So this right here is already pre-moistened. Um, it also has a bottle um, or cup, I would say, of my fertilizer, which is nothing but the liquid milk or grow. Um, yeah, she has like a, a slight little squeeze, a ring to her if I get a handful and really put some pressure behind it. So what I'm going to do is slightly fill this here up. You do not want to pack down your spag, you guys. This stuff, um, even though it's very airy, you can still compact it down and um, take a lot of the air out, especially when it's time to water. Um, it definitely will compact and it will be not solid but um just stay firm okay be very firm so uh, what i'm going to do and luckily this stuff is not that wet even though i probably could moisten it up a little bit more um i'm going to take this here and lay them flat so that it gives it um enough space around in here to actually grow instead of just piling it down you guys can see that piling it down inside of the actual um pot so i was thinking about just putting these in here and just laying this on top or maybe just 
We'll figure it out. Yeah, and I'm just going to bury that down in there. And we're going to go around, recover with spag. So, um, again, I'm not too pressed about this one here. Again, you guys, I did a video on her. I thought I was going to lose it, which I'm actually glad I cut it back because when I did that, um, it actually started to grow. Now, that plant, um, long story short, it was, when I bought it, it did not come in the best conditions, okay? Um, even though, well, it came perfect, except for um, the actual grow medium, and then whoever um, the person was that I ordered it from, I'm going to top it off with just a little water. Whoever the person that I ordered it from, they had it soaked in actual garden soil, you guys. Garden soil. And it took almost a month for that thing to dry out. And we was in summer. You know, it didn't go outside, but it gets pretty dry in here. Trust me, it gets pretty dry in the inside during the summertime here. And it just took forever. And I mean forever for her to try and um, actually grow. I mean, dry out. So, yeah. And comes to find out when I redid all that, it was just a lot going on. But anyway, um, yeah. Let's move on to the next one here. Now, these next ones, you guys, I have to actually go down here and inside of my pop box here. Whoa. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is grab this here first one out. You guys can probably see this here or not. Okay, so this one I think should be my philodendrons tiger tooth or narrow, whatever you want to call it. Some of these here are, yeah, some of these roots. Yeah, especially that one. I had my scissor way over here. Some of these roots are um, dry rotted, of course. Oh, just because of the drastic transfer that they had to make from soil. And I put them into spag, which usually works better. Um, sometimes, depending on your conditions, which for me, at the time, I think it was winter. So my conditions weren't perfect to place them inside of, um, is that good? Yeah. Place them inside of sphagnum moss. So, yeah, that kind of. Got rid of some of the roots there. So um, other than that, she's doing fine. She's and sorry about that, guys. Camera cut off. But um, as I was saying, um, I noticed down in here that I have two, one, yeah, I have two new growth points in here. I don't know if I showed you guys, but she's going to go back down in there. But if I didn't. Um, there's one there, you guys, and then there's the next one there. Um, so what I'm going to do, just like the last one, is go ahead and get her down in here. We're going to do spag lightly. Um, place her down on top, and then we're just going to get some spag and cover this here back up. Very simple and straight to the point. Now I'm not worried about again those two nodes that you've seen at the bottom because they have been previously. Um, we're already covered and what they're doing now is finding their way up towards that light, which is always great to watch. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit more right there. All right. And while we're at it, let's just add some water to the mix. And it drain a little bit. Um, this is a lot more water than I did the last one, huh? Because the last one didn't even drain. Huh. Strange. Anywho. All right. And we have one more, um, which I think should be my um, philodendron gloriosum. If I'm not mistaken, it should be the gloriosum. Um, where did my hair is? All right, now... And then the rest of these down in here, um, there are cuttings, Monstera, Silta Pecanas, um, Raphidophora. 
not sure what else, but um, for the ones that are growing, I do know exactly what they are or were rather. So now I have to. Oh yeah, she's been growing. I'm trying not to break any of the roots off of this here. Um, Gloriosum. They are, or she has been growing, guys. Give me one second. I really have to go in here and try to separate not only that, but if I'm doing this, I also have to watch out to make sure I don't bury any other nodes because there are a lot of nodes in here. I'm trying to make sure I grab all the roots. And I did not know she has been growing like this. Wow. So let's grab this here, which has been growing. So yeah, everything goes. Okay, guys. There we go. All right. So I'm not really worried about taking all the roots off of this here system because she is going right back into um, sphagnum moss. Now what I do need to go in here and do is make sure I didn't bury any nodes trying to get this out. Even though I'm pretty sure they'll find their way back up, but you know. All right, so I can cover this here back up. Sorry about that guys. I had to go in here and get her out. All right, so these are the roots that she put out. You really can't see it, but this is my philodendron gloriosum. Um, I got her as a chunk for a trade for my, um, oh, my, um, it was a trade for a Hoya Curtia. Boom. There we go. Hoya Curtia. So. Yeah, and then there's also a grow point, a second grow point on here, guys, that I've been trying to work with forever. Um, I don't know if it's spent. I doubt it, but there's the next grow point there. I wish I can get it to grow. It probably will grow eventually. But anyway, let's get her down in here. I'm going to take some of that out since I didn't know she was um, that much rooted. And I'm going to go back in. And again, just back filler up. Now these guys are crawlers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if so, correct me down in the comment section below. But um, eventually I will have to find something else to put her in so she can actually crawl. But um, if not, like I said, correct me down in the comment section below. But maybe they start off um, growing upright. And then they could start crawling again. I don't personally know um, about that. But again, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, we are through right now. Very simple. Straight to Let me pull this up just a little bit more. Um, straight to the point. And watering. Yeah, I'm going to put a little water on it so I don't have to once she goes inside of the grow tent. Um, now this one was sitting outside inside of the prop box, getting plenty of light. So um, light, humidity, there we go, let that drain through. And here she is, check her out. Look at that leaf, just gorgeous, isn't she? Yeah, and I think those are one of the original baby leaves on her. But for the most part, let's make sure. Yep, I only had five, two, four, five. Yep, that was five for tonight. I had to make sure I wasn't doing like 10 to 15, you know. Um, again, I was trying to keep this straight to the point and pretty quick. And I actually think I did it, you know. But, um, yeah. I need to hurry up and make sure I get these into my grow tent to keep the humidity up. Don't want anything happening to the leaves. And then also we're going to take these out, um, out here and water them as well. 
check these out. Um, if everything goes right, which I'm pretty sure it will, we will have um, tons of plants, you guys. And I really just cannot wait, especially for my hair, Gloriosum. I've been waiting so long for her to actually do something. And um, yeah, I just really just can't wait um, for her to start growing and mature a lot faster than what she's actually doing. But yeah, guys, that is it here for today's video. Um, as you can see, I just redid my philodendron gloriosum, philodendron um, tiger's tooth or narrow. And then I also did my philodendron subhastatum, which is the green form. Um, we also have some props of the watermelon peps. And then I also have the rest of the props of my um, Monstera here, split leaf. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it here for today's video. Please do me a favor, comment, um, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know if you have any of these. Again, if you're looking for these, um, I think I may have said in one of my videos, I am able now to um, do like live, go live and stuff like that. So I am um, gearing up for giveaways as well. I do have a lot of plants, you guys, that I will be giving away that I also have in the giveaway um, section or container or however you want to put it. And right now I think I'm up to like 20 something. And these are usually like duplicates, duplicates of what I already have. Kind of like my tetraspermas, mostly philodendrons. All of these up here I have duplicates of like right now, except for this here Gloriosum. But the rest of these I have duplicates of. It won't be long before I get another one of these. But um, let me know down in the comment section below. And also hit that notification bell, guys. This bell will keep you notified and let you know what is going on over here with Planting with Pete. Also, I will have my second channel down in the description box below. Make sure you go and check that channel out, you guys. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I think I have that out for maybe like once a week, once a week on Mondays. Um, and again, it's just basically quick clips that I put together to make a video. So a lot of things that you guys do not see, like some propagations or some cuttings or some re um um, repottings or whatever the case would be is over there on that channel if you didn't see it over here kind of like that um you probably didn't see i don't know you probably seen all of these maybe except for probably these on the channel that i cut and definitely this one as well but yeah guys um the channel will be down in the description box below run over and check that out and you guys i will see you tomorrow with another video Bye. Oh, I can't wait till this get big, guys. Check that out for real, though. It's just nice. I cannot wait till I get a bigger one. Matter of fact, guys, I have my. I really want that um El Chaco red. That would just definitely just yeah.